Yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, this next segment we have is uh, all about uh, iPhones and apps and different things you can do with your phone. Uh, so let's uh, hop right into that. Boom. All right, so um, the first app uh, we want to talk about is actually not really an app. It's actually just a feature uh, that uh, is on both uh, iPhones and Androids. And it's called portrait mode uh, uh, with your camera. So uh, we actually have um, a picture that we just took. You saw us at the opening of the show take a picture of Walker with this kind of busy background. And uh, we'll actually show you here how this photo uh, can actually be manipulated. Well, not really manipulated, but just how portrait mode affects it. So goodness. Yeah, so here it is up on my uh, iPhone. Uh, when you open up the, uh, the photo here, um, it's a large photo because it's a portrait. It has a, a whole bunch of different stops. So as you can see, when you move the F stop to the right, all the background is actually in focus. And then if you bring it back down to the left, you'll notice the background actually becomes out of focus. Now, this is great for depth of field shots uh, like this, but really it's perfect for laser engraving. You can actually even adjust the lighting here to take out the background completely and make it a back ba black background. Or you can uh, uh, you know, change the lighting to contour lighting, studio lighting, other such things. Uh, that's specifically on the iPhone. I'm not sure if the Android app has all those settings. But as you can see, you can actually dial in the photo a little bit there. Um, so uh, using this photo, we're actually going to do uh, an engraving that I think it's already, yeah, this is already done. We'll grab it out of the iPhone. Uh, we got some uh, video of it uh, here zoomed in. But uh, we did one with the, uh, the uh, portrait mode and one without. And look, look, this is a handsome dude. This is one handsome goodness. guy. Goodness. I mean, careful that careful though? at home with how much good looking stuff is coming through your screen. Uh, I want you to, uh, you know, hide your wife, hide your kids, because this guy is, he's, <laughs> he's coming. Um, anyway, uh, so as you can see, uh, we can cut to that other video, Charles, here of the zoomed in shots of these. Uh, here's the, the regular photo. As you can see, great photo, turned out wonderful on the iPhone as always, uh, but the background kind of busies up everything. And just by using portrait mode, uh, as you can see on the shot on the right as we zoom in, it is it's still kind of there a bit, but the subject really, really stands out. God, that's a good looking dude. Man. Dude, that's a, he called wow. it five o'clock shadow, but this thing comes in at like two o'clock. Two o'clock. Like he has to shave twice a day to keep it. Yeah. yeah. So that's just uh, using the uh, portrait mode on your phone, which is a great, and they don't just have to use it for uh, po uh, portraits of people, but you can use it for different items and uh, even uh, different uh, like objects. Like uh, we did a portrait mode of a, 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 what do you call this, a water bottle. And just with go. the water bottle, which is actually kind of difficult, it's clear, uh, it puts everything in the background so out of focus that even something difficult like a water bottle was really easy to engrave. I think it looks so much better. Looks like we got uh, a question from Carlos. Noise. Um, Carlos, it's, I mean, just from a quick read, you'll need to probably contact TechSport for that. That's not really a question that we can answer well, live on air. Um, it, starts, goes into the guy. it sounds like uh, one of the older machines. Uh, just contact con uh, customer support for that, Carlos. It should be simple, Carlos. Yeah, Especially honestly. That it's pro, like a uh, larger pro. Larger pro, that's an easy fix. Uh, looks like we're a little frozen here. Again, just one second as Charles gets that uh, fixed. Um, but our think read face. Those are good thinking read faces. Um, it's funny they can still hear words coming out of our frozen faces, and we won't know that we're back live until we see it. No. Not no. quite there. <laughs> so um, that was the using the portrait mode on the iPhone. Um, I guess we can get that uh, video of the example. Quick. Oh, there we are. Sorry, again, uh, just having a little bit of technical difficulty on our side, guys. Thanks for staying we're patient with us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get them started. So the next thing we wanted to uh, uh, talk about is a really cool app. It's called the Box-O-Matic app uh, cool on the iPhone. Name. Really cool name. Uh, we'll actually show you here some more iPhone footage of that. Um, so this Box-O-Matic uh, app is actually really cool. You can look for it in the iPhone store. We'll go through the little intro that it has here at the beginning. But basically what this app does, it allows you to make notched boxes. Uh, we actually made one with it today uh, right here. I'll just, uh, if you want to stick this thing together, I think that one goes there. This won't go on top, but we cut this out without uh, any adjustments, and it, it worked great. But as you can see, you can adjust the uh, dimensions of the box. Um, you can add a lid. You can uh, do all kinds of stuff with this video. <laughs> um, and this notched together so well that we actually didn't even need uh, glue. But uh, you can export this file as an SVG or a PDF. Um, create different files. They have a few uh, in there that are actually preloaded. They have a few preloaded like kind of designs like that. Even the lid, you can adjust how much space is in between the lid and the bottom of the box. It's a great free app. It's called Boxomatic. Check it out in the App Store. Uh, you can get it for your iPhone or iPad. It's not quite available yet for, uh, yet for Android. Uh, don't worry, we have a solution for you uh, Android users here at the end of the uh, segment uh, for that as well. It's hard to put together up here. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, put it together down here. It's not okay. a big deal. Yeah. Um, also, those would go out or inside. Inside? inside. You, yeah, you put in some inside, some outside. It exploded. I, I had that set up for him I to put it together real mm. easy. In uh, rehearsal, he, he pulled it together in one motion. Yeah, one <laughs> motion. Was really but uh, here, we actually have some video of the uh, the file getting cut out on the Pro 48 here and going together. <laughs> something absolutely but as you can see it goes together really easy no glue needed and it is solid as a rock yeah I'll yeah great little app I'll there put it back together. yeah Walker's gonna try to figure out that puzzle here uh, just for a second um, but like I said Boxomatic, a real great easy app uh, there's also a really easy website you can use too right yeah so if you don't have an iPhone and you don't have the option of a Boxomatic, there is makercase.com and it's very simple I use this all the time if I need to make a box really quickly so uh, makercase.com is another option, but that Boxomatic app just has so many great options. Yeah, it's got a little more options than Makercase. Yeah, um, and it's a free app, which is uh, always my favorite kind of app. And it's made for people doing laser cutting. Uh, so it has a kerf already set at .008, uh, perfect for your laser cutter. Like I said, I didn't adjust anything in the settings. I just fixed the, uh, you know, the thickness of the material mm -hmm. and how big a box I wanted. And we cut out this perfect 2 by 2 box that you know, Walker will eventually figure out how to put I'll together out, at some day. point. One day we'll get it together. Um, but those are the, uh, just a couple of apps you can use on your iPhone uh, or your iPad uh, as you're trying to create. You can actually even, um, I've actually took Walker's photo that we engraved earlier. Mm -hmm. I sent it to the, the Muse here in our workspace from my phone. Um, I just actually uh, pulled up the IP address on the uh, Chrome app on my phone and used the file import uh, to load that file. Uh, Phones aren't usually big enough. I didn't have enough room to like adjust it, move around. But if you had an iPad or an iPad Pro, yeah. you could easily uh, monitor and use uh, that to uh, uh, load files uh, right from your iPad uh, to your laser. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, it's over here. And we've got a lot more videos over here. Hey everybody, you like my video?